And now we take you live to French Trump's weekly press conference. Hello, it is I, French President Trump, and I am here for the French President Trump weekly press conference. I shall now take questions from the press. Mr. President, you. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Emmett Manning, New York Newsday. Sir, what was the point of giving a posthumous pardon to Susan B. Anthony? I did pardon Susan B. Anthony, and she has not even thanked me yet. I pardoned her because she is older. Have you seen the pictures? She is one of our precious seniors, and we have to protect our seniors. Those we haven't killed yet, we have to protect them. Jail can be very, and I feel very strongly about this, jail can be very upsetting for an older woman. So I did. I pardoned her. She did commit a crime. She voted illegally. It may have been by mail. I'm not sure about that. Although it probably was by mail. Dr. Burks, will you check on that? Because voting by mail has so much fraud. Sir, sir, Susan B. Anthony is, is dead. Well, then I pardoned her just in time, then. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she dropped her thank you card in the mail to me before she died. It just goes to show you, voting by mail can also be dangerous. No one ever talks about that, but it can be very dangerous. Mr. President, Susan B. Anthony died in 1906. You gave her a posthumous pardon. It means after the death of. Ah, uh, I always thought it meant expired hummus. I always wondered why they put it in front of pardon. Next question. Next question. You right there, sir. That good looking guy. Mr. President, Spencer Fairbanks, Baltimore Sun, sir. Mr. President, the Steele dossier claims that you hired, directed, and watched Russian prostitutes pee on the bed in the hotel where President Obama and First Lady Obama slept on an official visit to Moscow. That made you vulnerable to Putin's blackmail. Those claims were discredited by you, sir. But now, however, Michael Cohen reveals in the pre-release of the foreword of his book, that in the book to follow, he tells of everything of your exploits, sir, and among them is a golden shower in a sex club in Vegas. Would appear, sir, does it not, that you do enjoy viewing the flow of pee? And why is that? Net Karen Von Carlson, OANN, Mr. President, doesn't urine have healing properties? In Grapes of Wrath, Tom Joad puts urine on his face to heal after being hit in the face with a shovel. Why, yes, it does, Karen. Thank you. Had you been hit in the face with a shovel before you went into the sex club in Vegas? Were you trying to heal, sir? Sort of, Karen. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Thank you, Mr. President. Tony Romo with ABC News. Mr. President, have you been in touch with President Lukashenko of Belarus? No, but I would like to, Tony. I was flipping stations on my television a couple of nights ago trying to see if I was on, and I saw his crowds. His crowds were almost as big as my inaugural crowd after the photos had been edited. That was quite a crowd, and they were chanting for their president. I have a lot of enthusiasm for my campaign, you know, more than anyone has ever seen, but I would like to talk to him. Plus, he might have some dirt on Badan. Or maybe he wants to rent a room or buy some of Ivanka's clothing. Uh, Mr. President, the awe-inspiring crowds in Belarus are not in support of Lukashenko. The crowds are yelling, leave. He's been president for 26 years. 26 years! He must be so rich by now. Uh, sir, the people believe the recent election was not free and fair, and he jails, beats, and tortures his opposition. Does anyone have Lukashenko's phone number? I'll get back to you, Tony. Next question. Next question. Yes, sir. Selena Johnson with the Daily News. You have said that Joe Biden wants to take away our treasured way of life. What is our treasured way of life? What specifically does Joe Biden want to take away? 
Jobadan wants to take away oil and gasoline. Then we won't go to the gas station. Imagine a long car ride with your family with no gas station. Where will your children get their big gulps? Where will truckers buy their mud flaps with the silver silhouette of the bib on the bottom? I often instruct my driver to drive behind trucks so I can see that bib, that chick, that urine dispenser. Next question, next question. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, it's you. Mr. President, did you just refer to a woman as a urine dispenser? Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Over here. Right here. Yes, you're right there. Mr. President. Yes, you're right there. Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. President, Maxine Shaw with Attorney at Law Magazine. Uh, Steve Bannon, along with three others, were just arrested for fraud. They allegedly solicited donations for an organization called We Build the Wall and then used the money to support their lavish lifestyles. Did you know about this alleged fraud? No, no, I knew nothing about this alleged fraud. That is terrible. So what were they doing? Raising money to build our wall but spending the money on stuff for themselves? What's this Steve guy's name again? Bannon, sir. He was your chief strategist in the White House? Mr. President, it is unimaginable that in the United States of America, one president could have employed this many criminals. It's, it's just unimaginable. And you said that you were going to drain the swamp and get the best people. Well, no, but look what I inherited from Obama. The U.S. was so crime infested under Obama and the Democrats that I couldn't even find any decent people. You should have seen the other people who applied for the chief of staff job. Michael Corleone, El Chapo, he was on our short list, but he got caught again. Green Goblin, one guy had half a face. Bernie Madoff, well, he was holding out for treasury. Steve Benham was the, the cream of the crop. Next question! Next question! Mr. President! 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 Mr. Urine could be a successful therapeutic agent against the coronavirus, sir. Thank you, Karen. That might work. Maybe if injected just under the skin. Thank you, Karen. Dr. Burks, could you look into that? Next question. Next question. Thank you, Peach Anderson from the Daily Beast. You've said that what you know about QAnon is that they like you very much. But, Mr. President, when you were made aware that they are a conspiracy theory group who believe there is a cult of Satan-worshipping cannibalistic pedophiles that you are secretly fighting, you asked if it would be a bad thing if you were fighting such a group. Such a response only deepens the conspiracy. So, can you just tell us... Are you secretly fighting Satan-worshipping cannibalistic pedophiles? And if so, what methods are you using? They hate it when I sniff. Like that. Also, Satan loses his power every time I say the word horrible. Next question. Next question. Mr. President. Mr. President. you. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Emmett Manning again, New York Newsday. Do you regret all of your lies, sir? Next question. Just to follow up on what my colleague asked, sir, do you regret all your lies? Next question. I I'd like to follow up with that last question. Do you regret all of your lies? Who said you could ask follow-up questions? Next question. I think the last question was a good one. I'd like to follow up. Do you regret all of your lies? You people are horrible, horrible, horrible. Next question. Karen Von Carlson, OANN. I have to use the restroom. This press conference is over.
This has been a live broadcast of French Trump's weekly press conference. Starbucks Avenue, a, podca- <clears throat> a podcast network.